These were the final preparations as the Kimblewick hunt in Buckinghamshire readied itself for an annual tradition that dates back to the 1700s. But there are question marks over hunting's future. After landowners like the National Trust banned hunts from using their land, and there have been renewed calls for trail hunting to be outlawed completely, amid allegations it is simply a smokescreen. Andrew Salas is master of the foxhounds here and says much of the opposition is misguided and politically motivated. Hunting a live quarry was banned by a, a Labour government uh, back in 2004 and, and was replaced by trail hunting. And now they want to ban trail hunting. So is this really about animal welfare or is it about uh, a set of politicians who really have got a big, big problem with a large swathe of the rural community. Fox hunting has been illegal in England and Wales since 2004. So instead, these hounds follow a scent that has been laid down, something known as trail hunting. Earlier this year, a prominent huntsman was convicted after giving an online masterclass on how to break the hunting act, something campaigners say they had long suspected was happening anyway. I've seen them hunting with my own eyes. They go out every time to do it. Um, it's, it it's a bloodlust thing. They're not happy with following trails. They, they want to go out and kill animals. I don't understand it, but that's just how they are. And we won't stop coming until it's stopped. Wherever the hunt goes, it is regularly observed by animal rights activists and often by hunt saboteurs. <laughs> Well, the hunt remains a very divisive issue. Campaigners say they won't stop until such time as scenes like this are consigned to history. This is a centuries-old tradition. Its opponents say the time has now come to leave it there. Enda Brady, Sky News in Buckinghamshire.